Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today is Dimash Monday, so we'll be listening to Dimash Kudaibergen performing Hello, which is, of course, a cover of the original song by Lionel Richie. This performance is from the Singer Competition in 2018, and we've already heard some songs from that competition, and he was pretty fabulous, so I'm sure that this is also going to be great. But before we start, I want to take a moment to thank all of you for your recommendations. I, I just appreciate your comments so much. It has been wonderful to get to discover Dimash through your suggestions. So thank you very, very much. This was your recommendation. That was uh, the biggest recommendation, most common one from last week. Let's get to it. This is, this is just not what I was expecting. I just listened to the Lionel Richie version again, so it would be fresh. And uh, Lionel's vocals are are much more uh, strong throughout, whereas Dimash's are so vulnerable here. He has so much expression. He's just infinitely believable. And yes, of course, Lionel's English is better. He's a native speaker. Dimash is singing in a language that's not his mother tongue. Uh, I still understand Dimash though. And it's just beyond that, I completely believe him. It's the tone quality and you hear that his heart is in this song fully. It's really gorgeous. Also, uh, this native flute instrument, um, I think we may have heard it in another song. I don't remember the name of it though. Uh, please comment on that below and, and definitely let me know what that flute is. I love the cool sounds that it's making. Um, there was like a sweeping one at one point. It was just really a fascinating sound. I like that they've added that element to this cover. Let's keep going. Fantastic. He's doing this all an octave higher than the first verse was. Um, and I, I still, I love how much expression he has up here. It's beautiful. Love the way he tossed off hello at one point. But I want to draw your attention to one thing that isn't perfect. 
And this is one of the ways that you know that this isn't, uh, this wasn't pre-recorded. If it was recorded ahead of time, it would have been fixed. Um, he's just a little bit flat on a note in here, which is very rare for Dimash. But it's a great example of, hey, he's not always 100% perfect. Um, and sometimes, especially when you have that emotion coming in, it can affect the tuning just a tiny bit. But what I look at it as, as is proof that this was not pre-recorded. This is the real thing. So check out the note here. It's uh, on the word C. So not see it in your eyes, but see it in your smile. On see it in your smile, he's just a teensy bit under the pitch. Hear it one more time. And this is in no way saying that he's a bad singer. He's amazing. It's very, very rare to hear him even a teensy bit off pitch. This is just saying, guys, all of those trolls out there who think that this isn't the real thing, you're wrong. This is real. He really is just that good. That's such a cool sound. <laughs> oh, this, I've heard lots of Dimash moments, but this is going like right there at the top of the list. Uh, this section was so amazing. I loved it. I had goosebumps, guys. Um, uh, this is so cool. So he was using, um, so it sounded like uh, bringing some native ornamentation from Kazakhstan, bringing that into the song. What a cool idea. I love it. Um, and you could hear it was like playing around with like a harmonic minor scale at one point, and he was very quickly essentially trilling between notes going very, it's a uh, very, very fast ornamentation. It's very agile vocal chords there. Uh, and it was amazing that in that final phrase, the way he went up to the top note, uh, I thought he was going to be holding that, but then he went back down. And I was like, oh, another one. No, he just kept holding it. Like his breath support was endless. It was so good. And you could tell um, between each of those as well, he was taking a really calm and centered breath. It was so good. Okay, I'm going to go back and catch that again. Ah. <sighs> Uh, oh, also the moment uh, at the beginning is awesome. Uh, he does this really cool thing with a mic where he brings it from far away close to him. Singers often would do the reverse well, it's where it's close to start and then they take it away. And said he reverses that very cool mic technique. I like the way he uses his mic a lot. Oh, I'm gonna go a little bit before so you can hear that moment.
second time uh how does that like how is that possible i don't understand like you shouldn't you shouldn't get goosebumps a second time unless it's really that good it was that good um also somebody should take like a dictation an ipa dictation of the vowels that he's using in those runs because you can hear him shifting them it's uh it's easier to hit a lot of fast notes if you're shifting vowels around it's part of that technique and it's so cool to hear how much he does with that like yeah 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 whoa 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 all of these different vowels that he's employing to uh, just make those runs sound even more awesome i love it okay let's finish the song <laughs> Beautiful use of falsetto there. So that, that final moment there, well, a little bit before the final moment, when he goes up to a high note and really holds it out for a long time. And then right away afterwards, he gets down on his knees and just has this composed sound. He brings it together in a lower register. Uh, you probably have heard me say this before, but that's incredibly difficult to do. When you have a sustained belted high note like that, it takes a ton of energy, just a bunch of physical and mental focus. And then it's just an entirely different kind of focus and calming down that has to immediately happen to drop down and be able to center your sound like that. Dimash is very good at it. He's a master of doing this. So he makes it look easy, but just never take for granted how difficult that really is to do. He, he can do it because he's just really great at singing. I loved this cover. This was such a cool take of an already great song. Uh, having the native flute and his bridge or middle section with the Kazakh riffs, that was just fascinating and a really fun way to expand the song. And I was once again really impressed overall by Dimash's ability to structure those levels of energy going from tender, reel you in to, wow, that was so amazing. How could it get better? And then the next level and the next level. And each time he takes it to a new level when you thought it couldn't get any better. And at the end, that brilliant moment of how he's able to recenter, drop it down, lower ah, that. He's just so good at that and so good at just creating an overall amazing and engaging performance. Mm, fantastic. Thank you again for your recommendations. Please do keep making them down below. And also please come and say hello on Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. Arizona time. If you would like to learn more about singing or really establish a solid vocal technique foundation, I just released my online course. You can go learn more about that at thecharismaticvoice.com. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks.